When you put a manual car into reverse gear, you get that definitive clat as you shift the gear stick into place. And as you start moving backwards, the transmission will start to whine, building up as engine revs increase. So why does a car whine in reverse? Well, a reverse gear is what we call a straight cut gear. And that means it resembles a standard cog or sprocket with teeth pointing straight out the way. That's different to a helical gear, which is teeth that are angled in a spiral formation for smooth operation. Accelerate the speed of a straight cut gear system and it starts to make an absolute racket. Get a load of this. It makes that noise due to the large surface area of the contact patch between the gears, which slaps off each other with each rotation. Also, straight cut gears transmit torque like ripping off a plaster all at once. So why is reverse gear the only one that's straight cut? Well, in terms of moving forwards, they're only really applicable in racing situations because the amount of noise they produce makes them really hard to justify on the roads. The reason straight cut gears are used in racing is that, compared to helical gears, they don't create something called axial load. That's an unwanted force that you do not want and you have to engineer against, adding weight. Without any axial load, a gearbox can be simpler and lighter two things that are essential for the oily bits of a racing car. The reason a straight cut gear is solely used for reverse then is that it is an extremely simple and cheap design that needs little engineering faff. Also, you're selecting reverse from a standstill, which means you do not need that smooth helical gear engagement. So there you have it. Next time you slot your car into reverse, you'll know exactly what's going on. And now, technically, you've got a bit of motorsport in your transmission, so you can class your pride and joy as a race car in reverse. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and comment below with what you'd like me to explain next.